Gusts over 200 miles per hour and waves 50 feet and higher. Typhoon Haiyan has left destruction in its path. The death toll is now at least 100, and the storm is now heading for Vietnam. NBC 5's Roma Villavicencio spoke to an Ashland man tonight who has Philippine, er, family in the Philippines. She joins us live now with more. Roma? Natalie Anthony Olegario just got word from his mother through email. She lives in Manila and says she's okay, but many of her neighbors certainly are not as the country now begins to pick up the pieces. Just praying for your safety. Love you. Watching from a world away, it's hard to imagine what it was like to be on the ground when Typhoon Haiyan hit the Philippines. But Anthony Olegario from Ashland is watching while his family suffers through it. I'm very concerned. When gusts 200 miles per hour hit the northern region of Manila, where Olegario's mother lives, it's being called the strongest tropical cyclone on Earth ever to make landfall. A lot of typhoons happen multiple times uh, in the Philippines a year, but um, this one I just heard that it's... Uh, um, one of the largest ones this year. Olegario says he's trying to stay connected to his family through social media. And usually I hear a lot of things um, through email or Facebook or um, we have kind of a family email list and I haven't heard a whole lot um, on there. The typhoon which hit Friday has left thousands stranded and already killed a hundred people in one city alone. Power is out and communication is down in much of the country, leaving Olegario to watch and wait a world away. If there's like heavy danger and, and it would help for me to be down there, I would go down there. Again, Olegario just spoke to his mother and she says she is okay now. Haiyan is on its way to Vietnam. It is expected to hit landfall there on Sunday. In the studio, Roma Villavicencio, NBC5 News. Back to you, Natalie. Roma, thanks.